This is a box opening of my fluke meter I just got. Fluke. It's a, uh, right there, you can read it. Take a look. I'm going to read it now. It's a Fluke 885-A kit. And I bought it because A, I wanted it, and it's a backup for my other Fluke meter where I had a cable fail that I'll show you later. But in the box, there's a fancy, look at that, in the back of the box here, the label's 3M, so they put quality, probably American-made components, I don't know. But here is the kit that it comes with right there. Nothing else in the box. It's a soft case, not a hard case like I got many years ago. Okay. And it opens this way here. Inside it, what you have is the, uh, the fluke meter, automotive type eight. Just like my other guy there. Of course, it's, this is a lot cleaner because it's all brand new. You have a set of uh, cables which are same as the uh, T220, uh, TL224s. Did you see that? Same type of cable, one and a half meter most likely. You have that. A smaller book. I got a much better book with my original one. But nonetheless, it's the 80 series multimeter. Discuss how to use it. Shows you how to set things up for a spark plug. It has uh, newer types of probe than the original ones that, that I got. It has, uh, I'm certain these are detachable, but two probes, a uh, thermistor to measure temperature. I keep reaching up here so I can make sure everything is recording. Uh, a magnet and two probes that are different uh, styles than the one I had that are many years old. So are the probes actually. Inside of here, amp jack plug set, two of those. Two of these, these are wonderful. These are uh, a type of probe that you can pretty much get everywhere. Plus a probe here, which you can uh, run a wire through, spin it up, and it will cut through the wire and uh, conduct. So we have that. We have the strap and clip for the magnet to make that uh, useful. Then in here, and of course our pack is, is separated if you can look inside here. They've done nice with the kit. And then in this bag, we got what? There we go. The uh, probe that goes around to uh, catch the uh, spark plug. It's different than the uh, one I have. The one I have is uh, has a smaller uh, circuit uh, circumference. Okay, let's see, those are this, the instruction manuals, more instructions, the, uh, the meter, and I bet you the meter, oh, it comes with a battery. I'll have to check that. Number one, I want to make sure the, the battery's good, but uh, there we go. Comes with that, the functions, you have a max min function. This by far is the greatest uh, function on the meter that I use the most. You can start up a vehicle and you know what the high and the low is. Other than that, it's a standard meter. You have capacitance, you got temperature, and then you can measure the uh, RPM. That's uh, what you can use uh, this, this probe here for. Beating up on all my new stuff here. 
Uh, here's a probe set. Pierce the wire, super handy leads, thermistor, which I haven't used often. Uh, probes, strap to hold the probe or the meter to wrap the meter up and hang it, and then two, uh, two uh, gator clips. And I have an assortment of these gator clips, all high-end professional I use to uh, basically grab onto something because I'm always by myself. All right, that's the uh, Fluke, the uh, Fluke 88.5 uh, meter box opening. I hope you enjoyed it and you can see the link to where I got it down below.